All right, do we have any gray beards out there? Do we have any salt and pepper? What about the skunk stripe like I've got? Uh, we're gonna talk about that today and see how we feel about it and maybe some things you could possibly do to either accentu accentuate it or to lessen the effect of it. All right, so stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, Brian Haywood here. Welcome back to my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel, where we discuss tips and tricks and discussions for your beards and mustaches. Uh, we also do some product reviews, and we also uh, do some special things. We're doing an epic mustache challenge. We're at two and a half weeks left to go on that one. And then we've also started a new beard advice series where you guys can send me an email with some pictures and the advice that you're looking for. I take a look at it for a few days, kind of uh, think about it and give you some options that uh, can hopefully help you and uh, a lot of other guys out along the way, okay? So I'm having a great time with that. So please send me an email if you're interested. Uh, but today we're talking about uh, the white hairs in your beard. Okay, we've got some guys that, you know, you go gray kind of at different ages. Um, also, sometimes you go gray pretty quickly, and then sometimes you just have stuff like this where part of it goes gray and the other doesn't, at least for a while. So uh, I've had this uh, white stripe in it here for uh, quite a bit. Uh, I think I'm a year and a half into kind of having this bigger beard. But uh, before that, I had like a shorter business kind of beard, clipper beard, if you will, before I was using products and kind of gotten into the bearded community. Had the little white patch there. It's a little bit bigger now, but really it's only about the size of uh, a quarter. And then underneath that, you know, it's, it's back to being uh, whatever color my beard is these days, reddish, brownish, something. Uh, anyway, how do I feel about it? Depends on the day, but most of the time I actually like it. It's actually very distinguishing. Uh, and the guys that's got the salt and pepper beards, I like those too, because it really gives you some texture. Even if you've got a really straight uh, hairs on your beard, beard hairs are straight, it gives you some nice texture to it. And then who doesn't love a big, glorious silver beard, right? Like um, George, uh, let's see, is it George Bailey? Yeah, uh, the Sultan of Silver when he had his big beard, beautiful. Uh, actually, I like ac accentuating mine. If you'll see me a lot, I'll be having, I'll have dark shirts on and I'll have, uh, if it's a t-shirt, it'll have white writing on it somewhere. Uh, either my long sleeve t-shirts or that, uh, or short sleeve t-shirts, any of that stuff. I like kind of highlighting stuff. Uh, and when I, uh, go to work, I usually wear a tie. I'll usually wear dark shirts with, uh, some sort of white stripes in the tie somehow. It really it kind of makes uh, makes this pop out a little bit more. Um, and then the other the other way is to think about, okay, what if I don't like it? Can you get rid of it? Can you color your beard? I'm not a big fan of that. It, to me, it always looks kind of the, the colors flat and dull and you can, there's no texture to it. There's no highlights, low lights, that kind of stuff. So it's pretty easy to tell a lot of times if somebody's coloring their beard or if they go way too long covering their beard and other stuff uh, like their hair has gray in it and all that kind of stuff. Uh, there is a new product out. It's a just for gray kind of gradual thing. So I'm not sure how that would work. Uh, I'm contemplating kind of doing an, an experiment with that. Maybe over the summer, I'm a teacher, so I'm out for a couple of months. I might try that, make a video about it since it's kind of a more of a mainstream product. I can talk about the, uh, the ingredients in it and to see how harmful it might be for your beard and try it out and see if it'll really co cover up that much white because this is pretty, pretty white on there. But anyway, just had, a, had that topic on my mind today and kind of realized that's why I wear so many um, t-shirts with the white writing or some of the outfits I pick out to go to work because of the, it's got some white in it somewhere. Uh, and that's to kind of highlight this part of my face, uh, which is kind of interesting. I actually thought about one time cutting the beard around it and kind of getting the, uh, the mustache and the, the big extended soul pack to go to like Colonel Sanders or some kind of hipster or something. That would be interesting. Anyway, let me know what you think. Do you have gray in your beard? Does it bother you? Have you tried uh, tried to hide it in some form or fashion? Uh, and tell me about your experience with the uh, with the hair dyes, if you will, beard dyes, which is kind of a newer thing. But anyway, fun little topic. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.